how's it going? I'm a Cooked Goose, and today we're back in Crusader Kings 3, where we're rejoining the Queen Genitalia of Ireland. So last we left off, we had started a war for the Duchy of Merca. So, we have these guys directly marching for the capital there, because I believe the king is still hiding there, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, he's there. Um... We are 66 years old, still unmarried, because we are trying to get in with the King of France. So we are still plotting to murder his wife. It's going to take about two more years. And we're still romancing King Philippe there. We... We are almost done, the learning tree. And our court is looking fairly decent. In fact, can we change you? Nope. We will keep you. We can call allies to war, but I think we should be able to get through this war without any help. Oh yeah, we should be able to easily. We are running out of gold quite fast, so we need to hurry up and end this war. So let's just go. Alright, now where are your men hiding? Are they coming for me? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there they are. They're hiding over there. Where are you guys? What do you guys have? You just have levies. Gold is just going down at an incredible rate. And that was easy. We immediately captured the king of this country. So great. Thank you for your lands. Um, they all belong to me. Um, so yeah. Guess who's moving on up into England? It's Ireland. And we didn't even need to go bankrupt. That was... That was perfect. That's exactly the way we wanted it to go. So now, I want more. So we're just going to put our counselor here onto foreign affairs. And, you know, let's just send you a little bribe. I can't. I'm poor. I forgot. Let's just play. We're going to send our counselor to shorten our truce because we cannot declare war on them until... For five years. I wanted to declare war on them sooner, because I don't know how much longer I have left to live, so we're just going to buy another claim, because we might as well. And this time, buy some of your land. So can I just declare war on you? I can. Because of these guys' claims. So that. And that. Let's see, I can declare wars on Scotland. Wherever that is. Oh, forgot I was playing. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of King Philippe's castle, should anything go wrong. A detailed map of the local farmlands, with all its hidden paths and caves, would be an invaluable resource. Hmm. Okay, we'll pay a hunter to go. He was discreet. I did not check the percentages of that. Oh, we're being raided. Where are the raiders? Are they coming? They're right there. Where are they going? Romance. Intruder. Every time I close my eyes, I see King Philippe's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, I make my way to his castle. The sight of Philippe's chamber window makes my heart shudder. So close, and yet so far. But wait, who is that? 
climbing up the tower, the shady figure stops by Philippe's window and unlatches the shutters. My beloved is in danger, and I will attempt to uh, save you, I guess. The sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I have ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself up through King Philippe's window. I feel as if I plunge into a frozen lake. Philippe is on the floor, the intruder pushing him down, a gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw her into the wall. The rest is a blur. When the danger is over, I run towards him. Philippe, are you alright? I ask cautiously, as if my words were a spell. He finally unfreezes and throws himself into my arms. Thank God you are here, Jenny. Oh, I'm just saving so many people. I'll never let you get in harm's way again. So now he is my soulmate. Friend soulmate and rational atheist. Well, now we just need to get rid of your wife, or can we... Can we, uh... No. Thought we could uh, elope. Where are you even from the isle? Yeah, you're from the fucking island. Leave me alone. Oh, who is this? My granddaughter has come of age, and it is time she left my care. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards careful planning, such as my granddaughter, can truly uh, can come to truly understand its uses. She now knows a lot of ways to get what she wants. Most importantly, she is highly aware of the political implications of those wants. Till we meet again. With an eye tutor in you? Don't understand how you got that, but it's good for you. This is decent enough. Yeah, she's pretty good. Everything's above 10 at least. Huh? <gasps> Shit! God damn it. I mean, it worked so well last time, but look at those odds. It's the spider one again. Um, this is not the way to do it. Okay, we're just going to abandon this scheme. Abandon. Cut our losses. What. The fuck. <laughs> As I was about to bite into the most succulent piece of duck I've ever seen, one of my servants keeled over, clutching his throat. He had been helping himself to a taste of my meal. At the very least, he served as a warning not to touch the bird. While receiving just punishment for <clears throat> while receiving just punishment for his crime, this was undoubtedly the work of the abhorrent churl, Mayor Adam. I will make you regret this. Oh, maybe it's good. That I couldn't uh, get the Queen of France because now where even are you? I don't even know who you are. Like, wh where are you? Like, wh what title do you hold? Where is this? That's you, not city. Drake, so I want this man dead. Take 23 months, I don't even care if he discovers it. I want you dead. I want your children dead. Your wife? Oh, well, you best believe she's gonna die. In fact, in fact, let me just. Where are you? 
Where's my intrigue? There you are. You? You don't have any children, but I'm going to pin your wife. What the hell's wrong with your wife? She's just scaly. Okay. That's fine. She's going to die. I don't care that she likes me. She's dead. You, uh... You put her in her grave by trying to kill me. This is all you're doing, and don't you ever forget it. Anyway. Sweet. We're almost done. A little bit more months. Alright, we need to get rid of some titles. Poor Wayne and Jenny. What happened to your husband, Brittany? Died of consumption. God damn it, Brittany. You only have one kid. He's 19. How old are... Well, it's too late for you to get married for kids. Might as well marry you for... For love. Let's find you a spouse. Uh, what are you like? Diligent, deceitful, and just. Let's find you a nice... Nice, uh... Intrigue husband here. Actually... Keep... I want you too powerful now. I'll give you those. Yeah, you can have those. Grant you titles. Let's grant you some titles. You can have this. This. Let's do those. And, fine. Let down. You, I guess, can have, that's a lot, uh, no, no, no. You can have that. the Duchy of Northumbria. By your claim. Uh, we'll just declare war just to see what we're gonna we're just gonna get that. Okay, so we're gonna get that. Um what else? I want this land here. It's it's held by you. I will buy some more claims from you. We'll buy the Duchy of Lancaster, I guess, as well. We'll declare that war first. Save up a little bit more gold and we'll declare war on Scotland. Two secrets exposed. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, my spy master, Austin, my spy master, Countess, Countess Lathier, has brought forward evidence that Tog, 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 just call you Tog, is not the son of Earl Domnall, the departed husband of my spy master, Kath, Countess Lathier, but that he was fathered by Mayor, that guy, of that. The kid is without blame, yet his consequences could be dire. Mayor, Mayor, and Countess Lothier are on, on the other hand. Oh well. So, my spy master is bringing me evidence that her child had a different father. Why are, why are you... Why are you doing this to yourself? Okay. She ratted herself out. I'm lost for words. 
and I'm sorry I have to arrest you. Let's just open you up really quick. Um, yeah, don't worry. Negotiate your release. I'll just let you go. And you're out. I mean, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, things happen, you know? Trust me, I've gotten around. Like, I may seem like I'm a faithful person, but I'm kind of a slut. It is time, Scotland. Declare war. Make names. Hmm. Take that. That. Let's take this first. Declare war. Your land will be mine. There's no fighting. Speaking of which, we need friends. I need friends. England, help. You're closest. Speaking, uh, Queen. You like me? Oh, you really don't like me that much anymore. Uh, well, here. And let's. And here's some money. Like your family, like I'm not just gonna leave you. Oh, who's this? Right, wasn't she my spy master? No, that's okay. Sweet. I didn't even know we were rivals, uh, but rest in peace, baby. Let's just go here, wait for England to catch up. We're, we're neighbors now, England. We can, we can like come over for tea whenever we want. Plush, vibrant, and soft as the light of dawn, a merchant presents me with an exquisite carpet in hopes of good for future relations. As I marvel at, at the fine weave, I am struck by a thought. Wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet, even conceal the steps of a bumbling agent? Mayor Adam will be honored by such a gift. I'm going to try it. God damn it, no one ever accepts the carpet. Oh, we have a learning perk I didn't even realize. So, Scholar, what does this give me? Learning plus five. Hostile scheme ch success chance plus ten. Oh, this came at a perfect time. Oh. Excellent. Unlock. You know what? I may as well just move out of the learning tree. Now, let's go down to... What's my intrigue at? 14. Let's go down to intrigue. Let's go down to sculptory focus. Like that. Now let's see. Oh, that went up beautifully. Anyone else want to accept? No? What if I bribe you? Damn it. Murderer. Murder. And a root. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route. Okay, so you want a map. 55 gold for the map. Ah, uh, pay the hunter again. Of course, you're discreet. <clears throat> oh, they have almost captured a territory of mine, eh? You bastards. Didn't even realize you were up there. Is your king still here? It is. Well, isn't that just lovely? How long do we got? Five months. Five months.
The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Mayor Adams' guards is brought to me. No one will notice him tampering with their clothes, and if something distracting for the guards could be planted, what would you have of me, my lady? I don't know what this means, but cut holes in improper areas, I guess. What does cut uh, Grindel's rose hips real fine mean? I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many pop-ups. Um, it has been proven difficult to gain access to Mayor Adam during his house arrest. However, my agents have found an old servant from the court. However, my agents have found an old servant from the court of Harcourt willing to pose as a friend of Adam's, having come to visit. Yes, send the servant and send her. Arm the servant and send her on her way. Come on. Mayor Adam still lives. The old friend was not as deft in her disguise as planned. The moment she unsheathed her hidden dagger, Adam called for the guards. Unfortunately, it seems the servant had no com had no compunction about revealing my involvement in the plot in order to save her own life. So where was he again? He was like down in fucking France somewhere, wasn't he? Maybe he was in this is him? No. Where are you, you son of a bitch? Oh, there he is. Cross your excommunication. Plus excommunication. We'll ruin your life that way. I am most disturbed by these tales you tell of Mayor Adams' misdeed. It pains me to do so, but I agree for the good of the Catholic faith, he must be excommunicated. Oh, buddy. Now you're a fucking criminal. And you know what? Your wife is also excommunicated. Enjoy. Enjoy your miserable lives. Okay. Go down here. Yes, we caught up to their entire force. Great. Get out of here. Let's retake this area. Shouldn't take too long. And we're going to go for the area we're actually, you know, meant to be invading. Actually, let's go, let's go for the, the area that we actually want. Oh, yes, he died, fucker. How did you die? I want to know. Died in captivity age 34. Shouldn't have fucked with Jenny Talia. Going to death. Okay. King Philippe, get on down. You're next on the price is right. Might as well just call all my enemy our allies. It'd be easier. France is here already. Oh, it's beautiful. What's this? I'm no longer satisfied with the regular tortures. I have become known for inflicting on my prisoners. I wish to create a masterpiece, a work of art, which enshrines anguish and suffering. Transcending all that I have done. Transcending all that I have done before. The question is, who shall be my canvas? Who 
Hmm. You like me, you don't. Ammer. Maybe Ammer is best. <laughs> Exquisite suffering. Now that I have my canvas selected, I need to decide what form my masterpiece shall take. I can think of many agonies I would love to inflict upon Amir, but if I'm to create a true masterpiece, I must focus on doing just one thing perfectly. your mind. Yes. In order to reshape Amir's mind, I must first subject him to extreme stress. I should carefully select a method of torture that Amir would be practically vulnerable to. In doing so, I can ensure that I will inflict the maximum amount of trauma possible. I'll start with starvation and sleep deprivation. That sounds horrible. You guys, go down here. I'm gonna need you to get some supplies. So wait, pushing luck. I finished reading the latest letter from Queen Harleaf of England and smiled. She seems to have warmed to me at least. While this is a success, I am tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. So this time I'll put my diplomatic skills to the test. Yay! She freaking loves me. Wait, the good queen. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray Queen Harleaf of England in a good light and her in a good light have presented themselves. My lady, pray tell, who is the most noble lady person you have heard of? Oh, queen Harleaf, without a doubt. Exquisite. Oh, more exquisite suffering. Amir is growing desensitized to my current method of torture, and it, is, and it no longer has the same impact it used to. I will need to choose a different method of approach. Humiliation and degradation. Yes. Humiliate him. Do it. Okay, let's go over here. Armies are dying of nutrition. Pretty quick. Merge. Excellent. We... Well, we might as well just keep... We might as well just raid this really quick here. I mean, we're almost done. Enforce our demands. Thank you. Exquisite suffering. Amir has finally given up hope. He and no longer fights me in the dungeon. This means it is time to move on to the second step, where I must create enough guilt and confusion in his mind to damage his sense of morality, purpose, and even identity. I think we're going to choose what to do here, and I'm going to end the episode here and start editing, because I've been recording for almost an hour, and even with editing, I uh, the videos tend to be like half an hour, which is a really fucking long time, so I'm going to try to cut down on that. I might start recording shorter episodes, uh, we will see. But for now, let's, uh, let him expect a reprieve and crush, then crush his hopes. He will lose the trait Vengeful, which is good for me because I'm his rival, um, 
So, yeah, let's just get rid of that. But with that, we are going to end the episode here. Um, if you like the video, please like the video, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.